It's the most beautiful time of the year in Tokyo. It's what the Japanese call Hanami, the cherry blossom season. For a few days in spring, the whole city is transformed by the pink blossoms. This year, however, the trees bloomed earlier than usual. Mariko Honda's family has lived in Tokyo for three generations. For the landscape planner and government advisor, the early blossoming is a worrying trend. In, in the past, it, uh, in, it, is, it bloomed in April, April, at the beginning of school, school time. But now it blooms in March, end of March, at the time of finishing schools. So it has changed. So climate, because of climate change. With 12.8 million inhabitants, Tokyo is one of the world's largest cities. The average temperature here has risen by three degrees Celsius over the past century. As a comparison, average temperatures around the world have climbed by just 0.6 degrees in the same time span. Tokyo is heating up rapidly. The dense concentration of high-rise buildings and the scarcity of green spaces exacerbates the effect. Tokyo has five times less inner city green space per capita than New York. Land in Tokyo is extremely expensive, so planners are looking at other ways to increase the amount of greenery in the city. This garden cultivated on the roof of the Ministry for Infrastructure is a novel site for the employees who work in the building. The plants release moisture, thereby reducing air temperature. On sweltering summer days, the garden provides an oasis of coolness. The strength of the effect is backed up by the temperature measurements. With so few green spaces, the situation is likely to deteriorate. Analysts predict that Tokyo's residents could soon be facing between 40 and 60 nights per year with temperatures above 25 degrees. For people living in high-rise buildings, that would be unbearable. Luckily, the city council is already taking action. New regulations stipulate that new buildings containing over a thousand square meters of living space must have gardens cultivated on their roofs. Even in the Rapungi Hills, an area known for its numerous shopping malls and high-rise buildings, the residents are benefiting from the new law. This huge building is 52 stories high and has several gardens on its roof. The move has been successful. The Rapungi Hills area is cooler than other areas that contain many high-rise buildings. But to permanently reduce temperature, the city will need a lot more green spaces. That's exactly what environmentalists and landscape planners have been demanding for years, without much success. Little by little, they are listening to us, but not enough. Why is it so difficult? Mm, because. Uh, uh, there is uh, economical groups and ecological groups and uh, they, uh, they, do, they are discussing and they say another thing, but today uh, the balance is uh, going to be made. Mariko Honda and her fellow Tokyoites hope action will prevent them from one day having to celebrate Hanami in the middle of winter.